We go in depth now with the Target 12 investigators. Hospitals are known as a place to fight viruses. But a growing problem facing healthcare providers across the country are computer viruses that threaten your private information. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us live in studio now. And Tim, we've heard a lot about cyber hacks and ransomware, sure. but hospitals and doctor's offices are a popular target now. Yeah, it's something our colleague in Target 12, Kate Wilkinson, has been looking into for the past few weeks. And one thing that she uncovered that surprised me is your medical information is often more valuable than your social security number or credit card information. A cybersecurity expert tells Kate bad guys can take that information information and create fake medical cards or health insurance uh, insurance accounts. If you think about how much medical coverage costs, there is a demand on the black market to steal someone's coverage and hospitals are chock full of the kind of information cyber thieves want. Now, a couple of weeks ago on Newsmakers, we had on the new head of Lifespan, the state's largest hospital group, and you can hear just how exasperated he is with the nonstop cyber attacks his hospitals are under. We get attacks all the time. You can talk to any hospital executive. You almost don't want to know, but you're getting attacked on a daily basis because there's it's a pu basically a public institution with lots of money flowing through it. And if, if you just think of the patient volume, thousands of patients every day. Now, Kate has a special report coming up on 12 News at 5, taking a closer look at this growing problem and why thieves are targeting smaller facilities like your doctor's office. Fascinating and scary stuff. Yes. Uh, Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie is working on another story today. Some troubling allegations against a Providence man. Yeah, she learned of a state police investigation into video voyeurism. Investigators say a Providence man hit a camera in his home's bathroom with the purpose of secretly recording nannies and babysitters that he hired. And all four victims, three adults and a teenager, were allegedly caught on camera. How police caught onto it is fascinating. Alex will have her full investigation coming up on 12 News at 6. And Tim, video voyeurism is considered a felony in Rhode Island, a serious yeah. crime. Yeah, it uh, each count comes with up to three years in prison if convicted. In this case, the defendant is facing four counts. Target 12 keeps a database of felonies charged by the Attorney General's office. And between 2019 and September of 2022, the state brought eight charges against people with video voyeurism. It is something investigators have focused on since the law went on the books in 2004. And again, Alex's report is coming up at 6. Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks for being here. Thank you.